John, how are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. Uh, I feel like I know you so well. Um, <laughs> I feel like I know your 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 family. Uh, I feel very personally connected to this, and uh, uh, I'm excited for everyone to see this online uh, when it drops on August 15th because I know people will have the same connection um, to different aspects of of your personal life, uh, like I did. So um, thank you for the doc and uh, thank you for meeting me today. Thank you for coming. It's good, good. Glad you're here. So your journey started uh, a few years ago. Um, it's been a few years now that you and your siblings have been on this journey. How has the kind of roller coaster of emotions changed over the course of this journey? Over the course of the journey, I would say the roller coaster of emotions has gone from high tide to flat seas. Um, <laughs> It was definitely quite the emotional, shocking, uh, all different kinds of feelings you have from surprise, deception, to uh, just uh, sadness. Um, eventually, as you process it, you start to realize it isn't just about you or me in this case. It's also about my parents and what they had to go through to have kids. Um, and you realize that yeah, you know, in a perfect world, it would have been great if they had told me what I believe they should have, but they didn't. Um, they just did the best with what they had. And as you process that, it, it gets easier and easier. And you realize, you know, it's just it's just where you end up. It's just what it is. Um, and in my case, I feel very fortunate because I got a lot of support and help in making this film, which was like a cathartic experience uh, from not only my uh, siblings I was raised with, my brothers, Eric and David, but also my donor siblings, my biological father, and even some of the moms who were uh, who I interviewed who were um, part of the uh, program that was at Mount Sinai Hospital originally. When, when did the, um, the idea or the process begin to compile all of the information to make it into a documentary um probably i guess if you look at the time frame i found out 2019 i would say covid actually played a role because things got really quiet and it kind of became my covid project and I actually made like a half hour kind of test pilot um interviewing people on zoom uh and after i got through about a half hour of it i realized you know, I should really do something with this. And so I would say uh, probably by the middle of 2020 I is when I really decided, you know, I should really try and make more of this than just sort of a home movie on Zoom kind of thing. There are, uh, like I mentioned earlier, that there are many aspects to your relationships because there are now many relationships um, that I think a lot of people uh, can connect to. Um, you know, your relationship with your mother, your father, your siblings, your half siblings. Um, there are just so many relationships there uh, that I think so many people can connect to. What do you hope uh, people that view this documentary, um, uh, how do you feel that they would respond or hope that they get out of it in a positive way? Because you are a very positive guy and uh, the whole documentary is coming off very positive at no point, even though I can, you know, you, there's certain points where you, you, you give a little bit of anger, you show a little bit of emotion for the most part, you are very positive about the whole experience. So uh, what kind of experience do you hope people get out of it? When people watch this uh, film, I hope that they are able to find their own way. I hope it, I hope it helps them find their own way through this journey. Um, it's not a completely dark journey. There, I believe that for almost anybody, there is light at the end of the tunnel in this particular situation. Um, and I hope it helps them. You know, if 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 one person, I know, already know one person who's seen it. I had a donor sibling call me up or reach out to me uh, in April, right when I finished the uh, film. And the donor sibling said to me, um, gee, this is just like a movie, this whole thing. And I said, well, speaking of, so I showed her a rough cut and she was so touched by it. And at that moment, I felt like, well, gee, uh, I feel like it's all worth it. 
because I actually helped her get through it. She was in a state of shock. Um, and she said she laughed, she cried, and it was great. So when somebody watches this movie, I hope that they get the same positive feeling that I have. I hope that they're able to look at it a different way, that it's not all doom and gloom. You know, when you first get that test result, for me, it was just me and the test. There's nobody there. And it's a state of shock. But in the journey, you start to realize that there's a lot more that goes into this. It's my parents' decision from 50, 60 years ago, 65 at this point. Um, it's my reaction. It's my brother's reactions. So I hope people are able to take away that it's there. there is at the very least, a silver lining. It's part of life's experience. Life throws you these curveballs and you have to make the best that you can with them. And in my case, I made a movie. <laughs> it was my cathartic therapeutic experience. And I hope that that positivity that's in the film um, translates to, to the people who watch it. Uh, your relationships with your siblings um now you have more than you ever thought you would have in your life. Um, how have you been able to balance all of those relationships? And what is that like? Um, people ask me, what's it like to have all these new siblings? And to me, I always say it's like book club without the books. Um, you just have this thing in common. Um, very random. Um, but yet there is something about a genetic connection. You can't quite put your finger on it, but there is a connection with these people um, who I've met. There are some who you find along the process that say, you know what, I, I don't want anything to do with this for whatever reason. They have their own, they're traveling their own journey, their own path, and they don't want to deal with it. But for the people who do, um, the relationships are really good. Uh, you know, you don't, deal with the baggage that you might get with um, people who you've grown up with your whole life. You just sort of, everybody sort of made their way to a certain point in life and they're all in pretty good place. And so there's very little drama. There's very little angst. Everybody's just sort of kind of happy to be part of this. You know, like I said, it's, it's book club without the books. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Um, I don't want to spoil anything. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of there are a lot of reveals in this documentary. Um, <laughs> Some I made during the documentary. <laughs> Trust me on that. <laughs> I, when I, you know, that, that scene when my dad is making the toast, um, you know, and he talks about the family genealogy. I ran into that by accident while I was in the middle of this. I'm like, I got to put that in. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> One one of my favorite moments in the uh, in the documentary again without without spoiling anything is your is your trip um, towards the end and uh, oh yeah that was yeah. a extremely touching moment and um, how was that experience um, going back home um, that experience um, when I wrap up the story uh, was probably it was spiritual. It was cathartic um, and it almost brought the whole thing full circle. It really put the whole thing, it, it kind of really buttoned up the whole experience to, to, to put it that way. It really brought the whole thing full circle. Um, and yeah, when that was done, um, I did sort of feel like there was not only a, a weight lifted off of me, but I, I, in a way I felt like there was a, a light you know, uh, just a positive light. I can't describe it any other way, uh, especially when I was at the location <laughs> that I was at. Um, it, it, it was very uplifting. Um, and it felt very, um, uh, very freeing. Some of these things, you know, I'm thinking, how do I tell this story? How do I share it? And I thought, you know what, that would be great, you know, to to sort of come full circle with my mom's tradition, so to speak. And that was, you know, and, and the letter went in, in the wall. <laughs> Speaking of your mother, um, yeah. she apparently was really good at game shows. And... Uh, no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Have you and ever- I watched Jeopardy every night. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever taken a crack at any game shows? No, no, but I do go to trivia every Monday. 
You go to trivia every Monday. <laughs> every Monday, religiously. <laughs> I, I, I was shocked that, uh, that she made it uh, that long. Like, you know, the thing about that, that really, first of all, that was a legend in our family about the game show, the game show. And the way I found that, just to tell you very quickly, my mom saw it on a Johnny Carson retrospective on PBS years ago. So after I decided to make the movie, I actually called them up and talked, took me three or four people. I finally found the clip and seeing that clip, seeing my mom before I knew her, before I was born, hearing her voice, because in, in our generation, that's not normal. You know, now people have video and whatnot. Yeah. That was really something, you know, yeah. it was really something. for it sure. Was a legendary story and watching that, you know, <laughs> proof of it was great. John, thank you so much uh, for chatting today. Thank you so much for this documentary, filling oh, in the blanks. Um, thank you for inviting myself and everyone else that's going to be watching this documentary um, on your journey, in your journey with your family, with your siblings, with your parents. Um, it's a really touching story. And um, I look forward to seeing social media reactions to this uh, when it drops on, on August 15th. So please, if you're watching this uh, this uh, interview, John, uh, August 15th, filling in the blanks is going live. And uh, I look forward to seeing it again. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time, John. All right. Bye. Have a great day. You too.